Hi, I'm Lily Yates, and I'm a freshman at Scott Catholic. Thank you. Um, and this poem is titled, Flannels, a Thesis. Colleagues, compadres, cohorts, companions. There exists a group, an elite group of unique and refined human beings who are much different than your average Joe. We are the hipsters, but don't tell anyone. With our flannels and carefully frayed designer jeans fluttering freely in the wind, which carries the distant, bittersweet aroma of burning VHS tapes, the musty odor of a Beanie Baby collection, and sad teenager tears past. My dear friends, we are quite arguably the most vaunted and special generation, with our scintillating sense of I'm better dressed than you, but I rolled out of bed like this style, lacking starkly the unspeakable horror of bootcut jeans. <laughs> Our unendingly witty societal commentaries, blind consumerism is absolutely the most disgusting thing. Our progressive and unpopular political views, I believe the concept of government is severely outdated. Our pithy, soul-wrenching slam poetry for coffee shops of 20, 30-something-year-old art school graduates whose kindred, albeit broke, spirits sing with us. Indie music released at midnight shoved down our hungry hipster gullets as we remind our friends and critics that, surely, I only like their older stuff. Well, lately I've been listening to... Oh, never mind, it's kind of an acquired taste. Run along, back to your Taylor Swift and your Maroon Six, or whoever they are. Well, I mean, if you insist they're called Nirvana? We are the last. The last triumphant, wholesome generation whose baby pictures weren't taken on smartphones back in our day. We played outside. Grass stains, a watery ceiling of sun seen from a pool floor, street baseball with the neighbors, building snow forts with runny noses. And as we sip our venti Starbucks half-calf Ethiopian brew coffees with just a hint of espresso, we reminisce together on more innocent times past, dusting off our Elvis Costello rim glasses as if to wipe away not only the colorful haze of the 21st century, but also what keeps us from seeing that somewhere beneath this beanie, somewhere beneath this beard, this ironically used MySpace profile, there is a dopey little kid with scraped elbows who remembers.